Okay, guys. I'm not one for taking glory. I love doing what I do. Okay? Now credit goes where credit is due. I could not do any of what I do if it wasn't for the people who support me out in the audience, who believe in what I carry in my heart, what I've always carried in my heart, but more importantly, if it wasn't for VFW 4287 and Semper Fidelis America Incorporated, this would not be happening. They're the ones who actually back the heart in which the blood that flows through my heart, the red, white, and blue blood. And everybody knows me knows that's exactly what runs through my heart. So for you, I thank you guys. Because you took a veteran who had a plea three years ago from Afghanistan. And I, then when I was questioned or asked to do it, I didn't know how I was going to do it. I approached Murph. He says, let me talk to Doug, who's a Green Beret. And this is where it started. And look at how it's grown. It's tripled in size. And I've made it small by will. I will take a land and rock to cross this great state of Alabama. I'm going to go to Zachary. Run up, What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous side, o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave. to Marine Corporal Adam Devine for his dedication and loyalty and services made for our country. May this quilt warm your body and comfort your soul. It was made with tender, loving care and is meant to bring you comfort. The mission of the QOV Foundation is to cover all these services is to cover these service members and veterans touched by war with wartime quilts called Quilts of Valor. This foundation is not about politics, it's about people. Thank you, Adam. I want to present that to it. Thank you. Cooper, where you at? Dave? Hey, Adam, you like this. Look at this. Adam, look at this old Marine here. Still looking sharp in his uniform. Come on up, Dave. Somebody knows Dave is presenting Adam 
with a belt buckle was made by one of our members that makes belt buckles. It's got the marine emblem and the purple heart emblem on that big belt buckle. Said this seems a little lengthy, but I think it's very important, Adam, that we capture some of the milestones from your life. Whereas Adam Devine was born to Terry and Kim Devine on May 11th, 1990, and whereas Adam Devine in 2001, at the age of 11, made a decision to join the military when he was of age, and whereas in 2008 Adam Devine graduated high school and was destined and determined to join the United States Marine Corps but at the request of his parents, decided to attend college first. And whereas Adam Devine was an athlete, hockey, football, and rugby in college, those sports would one day lead him down a different path of sports. And whereas in 2009, Adam Devine met the woman who would one day become his wife. They started to date in 2010 and married in 2011. And whereas that vision that you, Adam Devine, held so dear to your heart since September 11th, 2001, at the age of 11, was now about to become reality. And whereas, in January, February of 2010, Adam Devine held true to his own word of a young boy at the age of 11 and joined the United States Marine Corps in the delayed entry program. And whereas, Adam Devine, in October of 2010, left his home and started basic training. And on January 14th, 2011, Lance Corporal Adam Devine completed basic training of the United States Marine Corps in San Diego. And whereas, on May 30th, 2011, the next love of his life was born, Lance Corporal Adam Devine became a father to a beautiful baby girl whom they named Amaya. And whereas, in September of 2011, Ten years after you made that personal promise to yourself, your unit was deployed to Afghanistan. And whereas Lance Corporal Adam Devine on December 28, 2011, just about three short months after arriving in, in Afghanistan, your life drastically changed. This day is now known as your Alive Day. All veterans, please rise. Please rise! Whereas Lance Corporal Adam Devine, on August 13, 2012, you once again brought pride and joy to those who have supported and loved you. For on this day, after seven and a half months in a wheelchair, your words were, according to your wife Michelle, after seven and a half months in a chair, I'm ready to get up and walk. Showing and proving to yourself... Showing and proving to yourself that self-determination is all one really needs. And for this inspiration, determination, and perseverance, those of us here honoring you today, especially those in and out of uniform, we salute you. Veterans, attention! Hand salute! Ready, two! Hurrah! At ease! Whereas Lance Corporal Adam Devine on August 28, 2012, you grew a little. You graduated from the shorties to the drop knee legs. You reached the second stage of prosthesis in less than two weeks. And whereas on August 29, 2012, Lance Corporal Adam Devine, you yet still took your progress up another notch. For on this day, you purchased your new truck, a truck that had to have modifications to it, but all in all, another positive step forward. And whereas Lance Corporal Adam Devine on September 19th, 2012, you successfully mastered many new aspects of your new way of life, ones that many of us take for granted, such as walking up an incline, up and down curbs, etc. You struggled and you conquered. And whereas Lance Corporal Adam Devine on or about September 14th, 2012, you were provided with a new set of knees. And on or about October 3rd, 2012, you took advantage of the new joints and took up sled hockey and hand cycling. And whereas Lance Corporal Adam Devine on October 14, 2012, you were honored by the Veterans Memorial Park in Dixon, Illinois by the placing of a stone in your name 
along with 17 other veterans from various decades and, and branches. And whereas on September 13th, 2013, Lance Corporal Adam Devine, you were promoted to corporal in the United States Marine Corps. Semper Fi. Hey, whereas Corporal Adam Devine, on January 30th, 2014, another phenomenal day in the life of the Devine family. On this day, your son, Braden Richard Devine, was born. He's pretty proud of that, I think. Whereas Corporal Adam Devine, 2012, 2013, and 2014 were a barrage of over 55 surgical procedures, some successes and some failures, causing more surgery and your ability to constantly maintain the strength perseverance and determination to continue to accomplish your goals has succeeded in making you the man you are today and the one that we, the City of Orlando, VFW 4287, and Semper Fidelis America Incorporated are proud to honor, know, and pay tribute to. Now therefore, I, Buddy Dyer, Mayor of the City of Orlando, do hereby proclaim January 17, 2015, as Corporal Adam Devine did. I'm not very good at speeches, but uh, I just want to thank you all for uh, inviting my uh, my family and I down here for this great vacation. And I. Uh, it's, it's really great to see all this, this support, you know, not only for me, but for my family. I mean, with my daughter, I mean, she's been through this trip from the West Coast to the Midwest to the East Coast. I mean, you know, before her first year, she seen the whole country pretty much. Yeah. So, I mean, for her to go to Disney World and see the, the twinkle in her eye, it was just amazing. And I want to thank you guys for you know, this time. All right, bring it up. We have a cake here we want to show you before we let them get into it. Eat it all up. Now, this, this cake was uh, done by a Sempidels member who works for Publix. And of course on it we have the Eagle Globe and Anchor, American flag, and it says, once a Marine, always a Marine. So Semper Fi, Adam. Semper Fi, brother. Uh, we're going to put it back over here on the table. Um, we would like Michelle to do the first cut if she can for us, if she can handle it. <laughs> we have a couple of surprises for Adam and Michelle. Um, basically, Adam, it's a little token of our appreciation. Uh, we have a something that long sleeve shirt for you. We also have a green shirt, an OD green that's in the bag that will fit you. Now we have one for your wife, and you also have a long sleeve in there. And uh, these two young bucks can grow into some of Vanilla's things. But, but, you know me, I just don't give out t-shirts. The membership of Summit Vanilla's, along with Mary, and the GoFund, the GoFund You account that we had. Well, the GoFund You account, where's my treasurer at? What do we get on that? How much was that? Right now, um, was it $700? Something like that. Okay, it was $700. $895, okay. We had a meeting at the VA at our annual turkey cookout. We go down and cook for the whole convalescent home. We do 120 something meals. We cook 20, 20 pound birds all night long. We're up 20 hours and feed the veterans and their families, okay? Well, the membership got together and we started passing the hat. And we kept passing the hat, and we kept passing the hat, and we kept passing the hat. Well, as being president of this organization, and with our veterans in this organization, our support members, our wives, our children, our grandchildren in this organization, I am very proud to announce from somebody else, American Incorporated, to Adam Devine to do whatever you want to do with it, $2,200.
And like you said, that's a tax free, whatever you want to do with it, brother. That's yours. Okay? Start a college fund, start a college fund, you know, whatever. This is coming from the heart. We're all in this together. Even though our war, Vietnam vets, 47 years ago, 45 years ago, some of us, some even longer, we're in this together. We're not going to forget you. Even though we were, we're not going to forget you. And we're never, ever going to let that happen again. Yeah. Amen.